Alrighty, I'm going to do a really quick review on this. It's the ISDT FD100 Smart Discharger. And this product is predicated on the idea that none of us like to come home with fully charged packs. You know, if you come home with fully charged batteries, it means either you didn't get to fly as long as you wanted to fly, or you broke absolutely everything and you have nothing left to fly. Now, it is important if you're going to leave your batteries for any extended amount of time, you know, five days a week or more, that you bring them down to storage voltage, which is 3.8 volts per cell, and store them at that voltage. Because if you leave them fully charged, over time they'll lose capacity. So what this is, it's a nice, easy to use uh, discharger. You can choose the number of cells, 2S to 8S, and the number of amps you wish to discharge at, so anywhere from half an amp all the way up to 6 amps. It's got an XT60 on one end and a fan here. Uh, and that fan comes on if you're discharging at a fairly high uh, current. If you're discharging at low currents, the fan doesn't come on, or doesn't come on as strongly. And I really can't see any reason to discharge at a lower current than 6 amps. Uh, I mean, we're regularly drawing 50, even 100 amps on our quads from the batteries, so 6 amps should be no problem at all. Unless you want to be really quiet, and then you discharge it at a lower, a lower current. So to use this thing, you take your battery, you plug it in, make sure you have the right amount of cells uh, selected, hit that button, defaults to uh, the, the whatever I had selected last, which is 6 amps, and it just automatically starts discharging. Couldn't be easier to use. And when it's done, it beeps at you and automatically turns off. Couldn't be easier to use. Um, it's even got a little connector here. You can hook it up to your computer. I've got the adapter for it, and I just couldn't make this thing work. Um, you supposedly are able to change the the storage voltage, which is default set to 3.8 volts, and you can change the temperature at which the fan comes on. Uh, but like I said, I couldn't get it work to work, but I don't need it anyway. 3.8 volts is exactly what I need. I think the only thing that's really missing from this is there's no balance connector. So it measures the voltage by averaging the total voltage coming out of the XT60. So what that means is if you have a low cell in your battery, or one that's lower than all the others, there's a really good chance that you're going to over discharge that one cell and you can wreck it. So what I do before I use this thing is I just really quickly plug a battery tester in, check and make sure that all the cells are pretty much the same, and then I plug it in and I actually leave this tester hooked up to it so I can check it later uh, while it's in the middle of discharging. And it goes through, uh, you know, a 1300 milliamp hour pack in like 12 to 15 minutes. It's really quick. It's so much faster than a, than a regular charger. I mean, if I put one of these on my regular charger that discharges, I think, at 1 amps, it takes almost an hour to discharge. And that becomes especially important when you've got, like, this thing right here. This is a battery I use for doing field charging, 16,000 milliamp hours. If I were to discharge this on my charger, it, it would take like two days. So I absolutely love this. I've actually got a couple of them. I, when I go out flying and I have packs that are still full, I just slam them on here, press the button, and it beeps at me when it's done. It couldn't be easier to use. Um, like I said, the only thing missing is a, is a balance connector. And if there ha it had a balance connector to make sure that no single cell went below 3.8 volts, it would be absolutely perfect. Um, but other than that, it is. I mean, you don't even have to plug this thing in. It's powered by the LiPo that you've got plugged into it that you're bringing down to storage voltage. So there it is, the ISDT FD100 Smart Discharger. Go and buy it. It's well worth it. I love mine. Thanks, everybody. Enjoy.